What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and some more Battle Tech. So I know we haven't done much with this yet. We just kind of dipped our toes in, but uh, we just had Gen Con, and so took the opportunity to stop by Catalyst and pick up some goodies so we can get in a little bit more deeply here. So we picked up a whole bunch of stuff, so we're going to have a couple videos here, a couple more videos certainly coming up for you guys. So we decided to pick up the Clan Command Star, and this was a pretty cool one that basically gives you uh, the five mechs that we have in front here. So... Um, and again, still just dipping into this game, so there's still so much to learn and figure out. So, but basically, you get five mechs. Uh, everything, of course, is like uh, plastic and um, one piece, so basically no assembly required, which is always nice, right? Play right out of the box. Five mech warrior cards, and then five alpha strike cards as well. So for that version of the game there. So uh, and again, I kind of got these organized, uh, at least I think correctly. So let's get that out of the way here. And again, just. Focusing a little bit more on this, of course, not just the unboxing aspect and taking a look at the mechs themselves, but Catalyst has definitely done a great job here um, over the last few years with just getting these out here and making these look really good. So in this one, again, really great detail there. So here we have, uh, again, the Alpha Strike card, uh, actually below it, but then the uh, mech warrior card here so we got zorus on the one side clan smoke jaguar uh, this is a dire wolf if i am not mistaken and then on the other side grace for clan wolf so again love that they have uh, that these are double-sided so basically you get two characters um on each of these so depending on how you want to go there and they each have different abilities now again um being brand new to the game I'm not going to trust myself yet to talk with any kind of experience or authority on whether these guys are good or not, but hit us up in the comments for each of these guys. So, um, for you more experienced players out there, um, so we got Grace again and Zorus. So for all you Smoke Jaguar and Wolf players, because uh, I don't think I've decided really on a clan, uh, one specific clan yet. So again, hit me up with comments and let me know what you think is going to be, or what what your personal favorites are. Um, Cause everybody's got something different. Uh, hard to say that any one thing is the best. And then on the side here. So our Alpha Strike things going on here. So we got Direwolf A. And again, apparently this guy's role is to be a Juggernaut. And it does seem like a pretty beefy mech. So it looks pretty cool though. So anyway, also let us just know what your thoughts are on the role of this guy in general. So the um the dire wolf here um, rolls for the game for this uh, for this mech and uh, just overall thoughts on it and different um, clans and all that stuff. So hit us up and let me know there. Again, so much to learn for this. So this guy going a little bit lighter here, I think. So right, this is a mist lynx. So we got Tyla on the one side, clan steel viper, and if we can get this flipped without making a mess. Janelle, so this is Clan Smoke Jaguar again, so that's kind of cool. I think we got like two Smoke Jaguar characters so far. And again, this is a Mist Lynx, so get that out of the way. So we got the Mist Lynx Prime, and then the Mist Lynx A. Again, it looks pretty neat. This guy is a Scout Roll, which you can definitely, I think, tell, even without necessarily playing the game, that certainly one of these is larger than the other. Um, so would have come to that conclusion without the card as well. So, again, overall, really good stuff here. Let's get a little close-up on this, and hopefully we can actually get this to focus. There we go. Looks like it's kind of got like a little running pose going on, so that's cool. Set that next to each other. All right, we'll get back to another bigger one here with a massive cannon on the one arm here. I wonder what that is. So this is a shadow cat, apparently. Looks pretty nasty. There we go. Top-down view. Back end. And head on again. That is a beefy, beefy gun. So kind of group size comparison here. So it looks like, uh, in just basic terms, 
small, medium, and large, but of course that is not going to be the right thing here. Anyway, we got Ross Hammond here, Clan Diamond Shark. This is the Shadow Cat again. On the back side we get Hattie, uh, another Smoke Jaguar, so apparently this box is all about Clan Smoke Jaguar on the one side. Shadow Cat, it looks like a striker. Um, as the roll here certainly looks like it is geared towards uh, being somewhat mobile, I would hope, and dealing some long-range damage. So again, we got the Shadow Cat here, and just another Shadow Cat here. This guy's rolls a sniper. Ooh, nice. So without getting into all the stats here, um, let me know in the comments. I'm sure I'll get it here at some point soon. Um, once we get a chance to really dig into it, but what weapon is that on his right arm here, and um, how effective is it? Moving on, another massive machine here with a ludicrously large rocket launcher here, and then looks like probably some lasers of some sort, I think, on the arms. Again, really cool looking. Kind of sitting back looks like just unleashing long-range hell on people so put that there so we got winter kissiel uh clan wolf there we go um this is a summoner or th summer thor okay uh, again clan wolf back side here jade falcon so i don't think we've seen those guys yet in this box at least this is Samantha Cleese. And for the Alpha Strike here, so also a sniper roll for the Summoner Prime. And Summoner A, so I have to imagine some different loadouts. But again, hit us up in the comments, guys. Not just your thoughts on the characters, but also the max, the loadouts, things like that. So, again, any and all feedback is appreciated as we try to learn this game. Last one. So, we have this guy here. Again, looks kind of like a medium mech, but he's got some weapons strapped to his fists here. No other rocket pods or anything that at least I can see. Okay, I'm going to set him off with his buddies here. So we got Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Another Smoke Jaguar. So Stormcrow here is the mech. Okay, and looks like Patrick Drummond. So Nova Cat. Okay. And then on to the card here. So Stormcrow Prime. Skirmisher does appear to be lighter. So along with this guy here. It's definitely on the smaller side compared to some of these big bad boys here. I think he's just overall a little bit larger as well. Kind of the usual suspects lineup here, so big to small. And certainly you get a nice comparison again from one end to the other, just on the different size and kind of complexity and weapon loadouts of these mechs. So looks really cool. So anyway, Stormcrow Prime here. Skirmisher Roll. Stormcrow A, so also Skirmisher Roll. So anyway, that's what you get in the box, guys. Again, five cards, um, five double-sided cards um, for commanders, and then five double-sided on the Alpha Strike side as well. So plus, of course, the five mechs, and again, pretty neat detail here. So certainly, again, everything plastic, everything already assembled, maybe a little bit of cleanup here and there, just if there's a little bit odd bit of uh, mold line or something like that, but overall look pretty crisp and clean. And again, great stuff here from Catalyst, so certainly nice and easy to jump in and expand a force. And again, we have plenty more coming for you guys. We picked up more for the clans, more for the Inner Sphere, so we're kind of going in pretty hardcore here. And we actually found uh, a box of uh, a game of Armored Combat as well, so look for that review here in the near future. So we've already got some of the older stuff, or not, I shouldn't say old, because we're still new. Some of the previous things that we got from the two boxes um, primed, so we're waiting to get all these videos out here get it all together and primed, and then um, hopefully with some good feedback from you guys, kind of start figuring out um, what where we want to go for the clans and also for anything Inner Sphere, I guess. 
with uh, paint schemes and all that. So again, uh, hit me up with comments, guys. Any and you know, all feedback again is appreciated, and any pointers certainly, uh, and you know your favorite clans or characters, commanders, whatever. Um, let us know. So hope you enjoyed. Um, and again, make sure you like and subscribe, guys. We got plenty more BattleTech coming for you guys. And thanks so much for stopping by. Take care.